Hi. Welcome to our channel, Tidbits of Lids. I'm Dev Priya, and she's Shreyoshi. And we are back with the part two of the series that we had started with our episode four, Figures of Speech Made Easy. So today. I'm just fed up. I'm just fed up with Ritu. Ritu, you need to put the volume down. I'm just tired of dynamite, dynamite all the time. Oh God, my dynamite is full. Get out of here. Okay, I actually I do like the song, but I'm never gonna tell her that. Finally, she could turn off the music, right. and uh, we can begin the shoot, right? So uh, today we are going to shoot the second part of our series, which is figures of speech made easy, right? Yeah. So let us start. Keep going, kick the drum, rolling on like a rolling stone. So as I said, this is now one of my favorite songs, right? I hope she's not around, uh, and uh, this is just playing in loops in my head. right and we are going to use this song to get back to business okay so we are going to discuss our first figure of speech for the day which is consonants so what is a consonants when we use a consonant sound repeatedly in a sentence in neighboring words it is a consonants okay For example, we can look at this very uh, sentence from the song, right? King Kong kick the drum, rolling on like a rolling stone. So the K sound, which is a consonant sound, gets repeated again and again. Now, as soon as I say this, there is a ding dong bell, right, ringing in your head and reminding you of something similar that we did last week, right? Which is Betty bought a bit of butter, right? Now over there also the b sound, which is a consonant sound, was getting repeated. But there is a difference. When I say alliteration, the consonant sound appears at the beginning, okay, of the words. But when I say consonants, the consonant sound can be anywhere in the word, right? And that is the difference between consonants. and alliteration rolling on like a rolling stone so again in the sentence if we see that the o sound which is a vowel sound is getting repeated rolling on like a rolling stone so the o sound is getting repeated and this is what we call assonance cause i'm in the stars tonight so much me bring the fire set the night light Shoes on, get up in the morning, cup of milk, let's rock and roll. King Kong, kick the drum, rolling on like a Rolling Stone. So our next example has been taken from a very famous poem, "The Tiger" by William Blake. The first line in this poem can be taken as an example of alliteration, consonants, as well as assonance. So the first line of the poem reads, "Tiger, tiger, burning bright." Now you can see on the screen that the letters T and P have been highlighted to show that the consonant sounds T and B have been repeated at the beginning of the neighboring words. Now moving on to consonants, we can see that the letters G and R are highlighted. So these consonant sounds have been repeated here. In case of assonance, we will focus on the vowel sounds. in this particular line uh, the i sound has been repeated so you can see that the first two words uh, tiger is spelt a bit weird right <laughs> it is spelt t y g e r but over here the y makes the i sound okay so in this case the y has been highlighted because that's the assonance Now coming to think of it, I think I've started liking the song because it has amazing beats and it's also helping us to kind of refresh our memory regarding the different figures of speech. 
So the figure of speech that I am going to talk about today is repetition. Okay. So repetition is a figure of speech where a particular word or a phrase or a line is repeated through the poem. Okay. Not necessarily throughout the poem, but in one or two places in the poem. So for example, we can take a look at the lines from the song. repetition what is the point of using this particular figure of speech uh, generally the poets or the songwriters they would do it because they want to emphasize on a particular theme or what do they want to convey through that piece of work okay so for example BTS released this song last month and they did it uh, like a gift for their fans and it was done to lift up our spirits because all of us are going through a difficult period a kind of a crisis period and this song actually helps us to kind of gain some energy and lift our spirits up so the song has these lines repeated so now repetition are of various types okay and the next one that I'm going to talk about is refrain which is also a type of repetition now like I said repetition is a figure of speech where a particular word phrase or line is repeated right at various uh, instances through the verses of the poem or the song whatever in case of refrain a particular line is repeated after each of the stanza so that's refrain for example in this song light is out like dynamite whoa, whoa. we have already discussed how repetitions can help in emphasizing the main theme of the poem a refrain also heightens the lyrical beauty of a poem for example from the brook for men may come and men may go, but I go on forever. It not only heightens the lyrical beauty or the quality of the poem, it also helps us in understanding that the central idea might be that human life is short-lived while nature is powerful and enduring. A refrain does not have to necessarily appear only at the end of the stanza. Okay, It can appear elsewhere. For example, if you look at the poem on the screen right now by Dylan Thomas, Do Not Go Gentle Into That Good Night, we can see how the refrain has been placed in the first line and then again in the third line of the next stanza. So that's refrain for you guys. Okay. <laughs> Like I told you, I'll soon have a brain hemorrhage. Anyway, subscribe! Woo!